I'm Amelie. And I'm Tommy. And together we are the Clairvoyants. Five years ago we got introduced. From the beginning on there was a very special connection between the two of us. Our minds crossed and our thoughts crossed. As we started to date, more unusual things started to happen. I mean, we had a lot of phone calls, you know, and Amelie asked me once, hey, do you have a red flower in your hand? And I said, yes. Well, how do you know that? that? Amelie is able to feel things, objects, items I'm holding in my hands. Are you ready? I think so. If we are not connected right, uh, the act goes wrong. You guys ready? We yes. are ready, yes. Tonight, we want to surprise, amaze, and mystify America. Let's get to it. Hi guys. Hello. Hi. How are you? Very good. Give me your names, please. Uh, I'm Tommy. And I'm Amalie. And together we are the Clairvoyants. Okay. Uh, married? Not yet. Not yet. <laughs> oh, That's she's hint, waiting. Hint. Is this something you do full time, the two of you? We did it for our parents, you know, and friends, and they really liked it. Yeah. And so we tried to create an act, and we did it in schools and colleges. Now, in the meanwhile, people, you know, calling us, and we can come to their, I don't know, parties and stuff and perform. And what brought you here? Because we love what we do. We want to share our passion, especially with America. All right, well, listen, best of luck, both of you. Thank you so Thank much. You. Thank you. Before we start, we need one thing. Heidi, do you have your handbag with you? I yeah. Perfect. Yeah. 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 <laughs> Heidi, please take your handbag and join us on stage. Give Heidi some encouragement. Every time when we perform, people think there must be something in Amelie's ears, like maybe a loudspeaker or something. So to verify that there is nothing hidden, check out my ears. If there are like antennas, earphones, no. whatever, maybe little, my left ear. A little mold, but that's it. <laughs> <laughs> just kidding. <laughs> Please inspect this blindfold as well. I can take this for a second. And just make sure there is nothing inside, nothing hidden, no Wi-Fi, mm. flat screens, no. no? Or hold it against your eyes, just for a second. And just to confirm, can you see anything? Through it? Yes. No. Perfect. Now come to my right side and look for one or two objects out of your handbag and it feels like there's a lot of stuff inside. <laughs> Whatever you like and place it on my right hand. Hi, you already chose something. It's a small object, you can open it. I quite like this shade, it's lipstick. Okay, that's correct? Yes. There is a number on it. I quite like this shade, it's lipstick number 602. Is that correct? That is correct. What? That's amazing. Wow. And now, ladies and gentlemen, please look in your pockets, in your handbags, in your wallets, for any objects, any items you brought with you tonight. Make it as difficult as you like. Hold them up. But do not say what it is. Yes, because that is my job. Let's start with this. That feels like a cell phone. So the color. It's white. The brand. iPhone. The provider. There must be AT&T. Uh, AT&T. It's yeah. correct. Oh, I was right. Nice. Thank you so much. <laughs> a big round of applause for Amelie. Thank you. You think that was amazing? Did you just see that? Simon, can you just have a look? There is like no camera in my sleeves. No. Nothing on my jacket, in my hair. No. All good? Yeah. Look again, any objects, any items. What about this one? You have something in your hand that there is liquid inside. I think these are kind of drops. No. And I'm pretty sure those are eye drops. That is correct? That is absolutely correct. If you have a closer look, there is an expiring date on it. Oh. There's an expiration date? Uh, yeah. the expire... There must be May 2017. That is correct? Yes. Yes, it is. 
Ladies and gentlemen, Amelie. Thank you so much. I just, I, I have to say, I've been here for seven years. I, that is the most amazing thing that I have seen, <laughs> ever. I have eye drops. I don't know what the expiry date is. Now you Amelie know it. Knows. Yeah. It's the best, most amazing thing I've ever seen on American Thank Hustle. you so much. I mean, I feel like I'm stuck in some kind of crazy twilight zone or something. <laughs> That is a talent beyond this beyond planet. It's like alien-like or something. That's crazy. I'm floored too, because I know I'm not in on it. I have no idea how you did this. Absolutely incredible. Thank you so much. Thank you very much. There is only one explanation. Ye are a witch. <laughs> and, and it's like being in Bewitched. It's the most amazing feeling. You have magic powers. <laughs> Tell you what, Emily, you and I should have a weekend in Vegas. <laughs> <laughs> Absolutely. I'm, we would clean up. Yeah. I think we would get in trouble, and though. And we'll take Tommy along as well. OK, right, we're going to vote. I think I know where this is going to go. Howie? Oh, you, you, you know, right? What am I holding in my mind? A big yes. Yes, you're correct, yes. Thank you, Howie. Mel. Thank yes, you. from me. Thank yes. you so much. Thank Heidi? You. I'm going to give you a yes as well. Thank you. Thank you. Four yeses, congratulations. Thank you. Thank you. But you guys seem so surprised. Like you didn't know that was gonna happen. <laughs> no, we don't know. She's a witch. But look at her, they're still talking about it. They're, they're freaked out that they didn't set it up with them. Are you freaked out? It's freaky, right? Do you believe in witches? I do. What am I thinking right now? I don't see a lot. <laughs> I love this couple. Good evening, clairvoyance. Hello. You were great the first time, and I've never been this amazed by anything. You scare me. <laughs> Do you believe you have something equal, if not better, tonight? I, I believe so. All right, dazzle me again. Let's do it. Um, Simon, the last time you said you would love to spend a weekend with us in Vegas, right? Yes. And we thought we'll bring Las Vegas to you. Oh. We want to show you something we have no influence on. A game of chance. We need three things we'll find in Vegas. One is a die, one is a deck of playing cards, and we need one last thing. Money. money. Simon, can you take out some money and just put it on the table? And I will come back to that in a second. So, Louis, please, check out this blindfold. Have a look if there is anything hidden. <laughs> so you can't see anything through it? I, I can't, no. Thank you very much. Thank you. Can I look at something? <laughs> <laughs> yes. <laughs> I'm here for you, Howie. Okay, okay. And we'll do a little game with you. Just take the die for a second and roll the die on the table. Oh, number six, you're lucky. You will do it one last time, but this time you will cover it. So no one can see what number is on top. Go for it. I'm just... You're happy? I'm thrilled. Thrilled. <laughs> I will turn around. Okay. You will have a look. Okay. Okay. You did? I did. Reach out your right arm like this to the side. Howie. Yes. I don't think you rolled a very high number. It wasn't a four, not a five, not a six. I'm pretty sure how you wrote the one. Can we have a look? Yes. Scared. Number one. That's impossible. Okay. One out of six. 
Let's make it a little bit more complex. Let's take the playing cards and Mal B. Shuffle them, mix them up. Spread out the cards, make a nice fan. And Louis, you select one card just for you. Keep it a secret, whatever card you like. And place it face down on my palm. Yes. Louis, you chose the five of hearts. Yeah. Oh my God! Oh my God! Oh my gosh! How do they do that? Oh my God! 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 Oh my and place it on my hand. We will do the impossible. You all know there's a serial number on every bill. To know this exact number, it's more impossible than to win a million in Vegas, but that is what I want to know. Amelie, go for it. Okay. You like to challenge me tonight? So, but I'll try it. You watch very closely. The first number is an eight, yes? Yes? Yes. yes. Yeah. How wow. are they doing this? Then there's a nine. Yes. Yes. A seven. Yes. And a five. I can't believe how she can do this. There is a three. I sense a two. No, wait, there is a three. Yes. yes. Yo, she's not from this planet. The next number must be an eight. That's a four. And there is a letter. And there must be an A. Wow. Is that correct? took a shot and came to an audition and now they're performing live for America. They stretch the limits of the human mind. Get ready to have your mind blown. They are the clairvoyants. When you see a person for the first time and you immediately know that's the person you want to spend your life with, that's how everything started. Growing up, my childhood was quite normal, but when I met Amelie, there is a very strong and very special connection. Roll the die on the table. You rolled the one. That's impossible. How do they do that? We are together 24 hours a day and seven days a week. Sometimes we even meet in our dreams. There are still two bodies, but it's like our mind is becoming one. For tonight's performance, we're testing the limits of our connection, pushing ourselves further than we ever have before. Our talent is one of a kind, and tonight we'll be challenging everything you thought you knew about the human mind. Tonight, we want to show you something very special and different. Ever since Tommy and I got on the show for the first time, people have been coming up to me saying, it must be great to always know what your boyfriend is thinking. Well, it's not always that great. <laughs> but tonight, for the first time, you are going to feel how this is. Uh, can we lift up the board? We started very simple. We lived in a small apartment, but we always kept a bowl of jelly beans on the table our favorite sweets because they come in all flavors and colors. Amelie, look away. Simon, pick one jelly bean, anyone. Thank you. Give it to me. <laughs> um. Tommy, you're tasting something like, mm, it's sweet, it tastes like berry, it was the purple one. It is berry, it wasn't the purple one? It was. It was. Heidi, your turn, take out a different one. Cool, you are going to eat it. Amelie? Heidi, you taste something different. I sense bubblegum, it was the pink one. 
Is that correct? The pink one? It Bubble was. Gum. Mm -hmm. Thank you, Heidi. Melvi, I have the feeling you have a sweet tooth. So I want to take you as many jelly beans as you like. Ah. We'll do that very fair. Amelie, look away. MLB, take the scoop. Take the glass in the other hand. And you can add scoops into the glass. Half scoops, full scoops, just a few, whatever you like. Howie, how are you tonight? I'm very good. How very are you? Very good. I I'm good. Oh, what would be your dream flavor for a jelly bean? Oh, Mel B. M Mel B. <laughs> it's kind of a, it's kind of okay. a spicy chocolate. <laughs> a spicy chocolate Mel B. Excellent. Very sad. Uh, <laughs> Mel B, you're happy? Or you add some more. Yeah. You could add some more if you no, like to. This is perfect for me. So there's still some left for us. Thank you so much. Um, cover the glass with one hand. Put the other hand on top. Amelie, we are ready. So we all agree that no one knows how many jelly beans are inside this glass, right? But our brain is a curious thing. And somewhere in there, you probably you already know, Melvi. Okay, Amelie, find it. I want you to look into my eyes, Melvi. Your mind seems to be very busy at the moment. Relax. Somewhere I sense the jelly beans already. And I'm sure that you have 22 jelly beans inside this glass. You can remove the hands. 22, are you sure? I'm sure. 22 jelly beans. Okay, let's do it very fair. Put all the jelly beans on the tray. Push them all to one side. There's nothing left in the glass, right? And count one by one, bean by bean, loud, so everyone can hear it. Three, four, five, six, six. seven, Eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two jelly beans. Thank you. These are all yours. Wait a second. Can we have the board, please? I have to apologize because maybe we were not completely honest with you. You thought we were reading your minds, but no. Remember, at the beginning, Amelie was standing next to the chalkboard. She said, it will be different tonight. We were not reading your minds. Tonight, we were controlling your thoughts. This board has hanging in full view the entire time. Whatever has been written on it cannot be changed. Amelie, Simon will pick a purple jelly bean. No. Heidi will select the bubblegum one. And Mel B will have exactly 22 jelly beans. Oh, P.S. We hope they'll release spicy chocolate jelly beans very, very soon. Very soon. <laughs> the clairvoyance. They got everyone on their feet. You guys' abilities freak me out. Simon, you're just That's as freaked crazy. out as I am. Oh my God. I've got. Wow. <laughs> you are aliens from another planet. Because this is, this is not, this is more than magic. I mean, this, this is the creepiest thing, genuinely, I've ever seen in my life. But it's so creepy, I absolutely love it. I feel like I've been haunted. And, and just every time I think it can't get any more weirder, and it does. I think you two are incredible. I don't know where you're from, but I love you. you. How amazing, scary, awe-inspiring, jaw-dropping. You could get into people's heads and make us do what you want. Are you in America's head right now to make them vote? Are you there? <laughs> Get in their heads because I don't think they need you to vote. But if you have that power, you need to be voted for. Thank you so much. Mel B, spicy chocolate. Yeah, spicy chocolate. I like that. Well, yeah, kind of. So listen, I was so looking forward to you guys because you actually really terrify me. 
but in a good way. I don't know how you do it, and I don't want to know how you do it. It's mesmerizing. I could watch you time and time again. They have superpowers. They do have superpowers. <laughs> they it's, do. it's beyond, beyond crazy. Thank, Thank you, so you so much. much. Thank you, much. Ladies and gentlemen, the amazing Claire Boy. Good luck tonight. Thank you. To vote for these guys, hit the phone, get online, or use the AGT app. You can vote up to 10 times for each act with each voting method, and you got until 7 a.m. Eastern tomorrow, so get busy. Coming up, a crooning pizza delivery guy from New York. He's gonna get his chance to win your vote. Do not move. Oh yeah, welcome back. This is America's Got Talent, the semifinals. Next up, here's an act that has left everyone totally bewildered every time they've taken the stage. And tonight, they're hoping to leave you speechless all over again. Here's the clairvoyance. A few years ago, we moved into a 350-year-old house at the edge of a wood. And in the woods, we found a book. When we opened the book, our whole world changed because it was about clairvoyancy. We realized this is what happens between the two of us. In the quiet of the woods, our minds can connect as one. The mind is like a forest. There are light areas, but there are also dark areas that we know nothing about. We go to the hidden areas of the mind, places most people fear to go. In the hidden places of the human mind, we have so much power, and that's what we tap into. In previous rounds, our act always involved objects the judges were holding. There's an expiration date? May to. 2017. Yes. But this time, for the semi-finals, we will tap into parts of the judges' minds that they didn't even know existed. Tonight, we'll bring the mystery of the woods to the stage of America's Got Talent. Tonight, we'll bring you back in time to an age before the internet. An age where people went to clairvoyance to get answers. So let us be your clairvoyance as we explore your most intimate thoughts. No worries, we won't reveal the embarrassing moments, Howie. Yeah. But we will start with you. <laughs> Howie, I want you to think of a question you always wanted to ask Simon, but you never did. Okay. Now is your chance. Please write down the question and make sure no one else and no camera can see it. Mel B, we are getting a little bit more personal. I'd like you to think of uh, someone, a special person, someone you haven't seen for a very long time, someone we could not know. Focus on their initials and write this stuff down. Thank you. And Heidi, excuse me for getting slightly intimate, but I'd like you to remember a kiss you once received and focus on the location. Uh, don't say on your lips. I mean, where you were at the time. And write the location down. When you're done with that, fold the pieces of paper together and hold on to them. Simon, please stand up and join me. Oh, again? <laughs> <laughs> now, imagine, imagine you walk down the streets of London together with your family and friends. Close your eyes now. You just achieved a huge life goal and you want to remember this time for the rest of your life. So you look up the Big Ben and the hands on the clock are indicating a very specific time. It's not on the hour, but what time do you see, Simon? Name hour and minute now. Four minutes past seven. Four minutes past seven, which is 7.04 in America. Correct. <laughs> Thank you very much. Thank you, can I go? No. Simon, stay here for a second. Because Simon, you imagined yourself walking in London, but you were not alone. We were with you. And we also saw the tower, and we also saw the clock, and indeed, it said 7.04. Amazing, or? Okay, I know, you would not believe me. That's why we set a clock before the show started at exactly 7.04. Keep this as a souvenir, and now, judges, Stand up, take your folded pieces of paper and join us on stage as we demonstrate how things were done 150 years ago. Come with me. Over there. Let's gather around the table. 
Things may get slightly more intense now, but don't worry, you can trust us. Simon, please, Heidi, we're here. You just need to keep an open mind, and maybe we can go to some very interesting places together. This is spooky. It's really oh. spooky. Tommy. Howie. Yes. Hand me your quest. There we go. I will try to send your quest to Amelie. Howie, your question is very specific. I'm getting it now. You asked for a race. Yeah. Is that correct? <laughs> is that correct? Yes. I asked Simon for a race. <laughs> Simon, now is your time. You can answer the question or not, as you wish. No. No, OK. <laughs> that was fast. Heidi, give me your paper. This time, I just need to touch it. Oh, give me your right hand. And give me your left hand, Heidi. This is weird. I sense a rush of emotion, such joy. Heidi, you're high up in the air. You're on an airplane. Is that correct? It is. It's correct. Thank you. Thank My you. What gosh. a beautiful memory. Thank you, Heidi. Tommy, yeah, please take me all this paper. Okay. There is a fire burning deep within you, so I want you to burn her paper, Tommy. Okay, we can try this. Huh. Uh, don't try this at home, but I want you all to look into the can. Look into the flame of the candle. Or into the flame of the fire. Melby, you're thinking of someone we could not know. Someone who influenced you when you were younger. Amelie, what is the first initial? I'm getting an I. I, is that correct? Focus on the second initial. The second is a W. No, it's a B. B, that is correct? Is that correct? Yeah. There is something else I'm getting. Is it possible it's your grandmother you're thinking of? Yes. I wrote something down before the show started and I put it on a very special place. Tommy, can you help me? Absolutely. Melvi, open your right hand like this. I don't want to touch the pendant at all, but for the very first time, tell us the name, the first name you're thinking of. Iris. Iris, open the pendant on the side. Take out the folded piece of paper. Unfold it. And let us all know what's written in there. Oh my god, oh my god. <laughs> Iris, you are kidding me. Iris. Wow. That's my grandma. Thank you so much. You can go back to oh, your seat. Thank you very much. Thank you, Mal B. Pretty spooky. The clairvoyance. Howie, is that real? I gotta say, it's great. Yeah. This is amazing. It's scary. It's weird. I swear to everybody at home, we had no part of this. And to me, this is my favorite moment of the night. This is, you gotta vote. You gotta put them in the finals. This is beyond human. Thank, Thank you, Howie. Thank you. Mel B, you seem a little spooked right now. You, you're freaking I am out. So freaked out. I haven't seen my grandma because she lived in the Caribbean for about nine years, and she was the first person that popped into my head. And the fact that you actually got the name right, the initials, <laughs> my gra everything that is mind blowing. I'm really scared. Thank now you I'm so really much. Scary, isn't it? That's scary. Amazing. <laughs> Heidi. Well, I don't think we need a clairvoyant to know that you're going to be there next week in the finale because you have to be, you will be. Exactly, everyone at home has to vote. We would love to. You amazed us all season and you did it again today. Thank, Thank you so you. much. You did. Simon. Wow. It's like being in a ghost movie with you two. I mean, genuinely, I mean, the fact that we were so close, we could see everything that was happening in front of us. There were no tricks. You obviously have special powers. Um, <laughs> God only knows what you could do if you make the final. Um, and again, where I applaud you is that it's, it's more than your powers. It's the fact that you put on this really delicious, creepy show. Um, yes. and, and from everything we've seen, I'm, I'm with these three. I think the final would just wouldn't be the same without you. And you probably know that already. Thank you so much. Thank you. Deliciously creepy. So if you guys were to make it to the finals, how would you use your powers? Next time, I think we will try to amaze and entertain whole of America. And step it up, of course. We Absolutely. try. Absolutely. All right, well, good luck tonight. Awesome job. Listen up. You want to see these two in the finals, you got to vote for them. They want to be back here competing for that $1 million, but the only way that can happen is if you vote. Get online, pick up the phone, or use the app. They need you. Coming up.
the last act of the week. In a couple of minutes, the pressure will be on singer Brian Justin Crumb. We'll be right back. <laughs>